Hello, everybody. We are from Milwaukee to Nashville. I'm Dana Goodemo. This is Christopher Dredge, and this is Matt Weiss. Yeah. I got it right again. He did it again. Whee! He's doing his gift dance. Uh-oh. He's going to break something. Oh, no. Oh, he'll fall out of the chair and make highlight reels for podcasting Wait, what bloopers. video are we doing? Nashville. Why are you celebrating that? What? I'm celebrating getting his name right. Oh. Okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He's got to punch it off his card, pretty much. All right, so... Tonight wasn't a total loss. It was... Half a loss. It was half a loss. I'm one of those optimistic people. <laughs> yeah, you're one of the half-full uh, type people. Yes. I think, that's, I think that's relevant now, especially in the wild card race. That's the thing. Yeah. A point, point is a point. That's exactly it. That's how Does the Admirals it, got it. They should have adapted this a while ago, but... Yeah, at least they got it. Yeah. Again, it's not like the Blackhawks are on the same level as we are. Like, we're, they're only, like... What? It's not like... They're in the single digits of points behind us. Not by much. They're under Minnesota, but... Minnesota's a point underneath us. Mm -hmm. And we're a point underneath... Oh, boy, they are not... They're not. They are at 62. We are no. at 60. They are at 64. We are at 67. Oh, <coughs> Now, technically. Unless okay. they updated this, which I bet they did. Yeah, they did. All right. So, yeah, we're still six points ahead of them. Mm-hmm. Or four. Four points. But we have games in hand against them. A uh, game in hand against them. Four games ahead against Arizona. Two mm -hmm. games ahead against Cal Calgary. Yep. Two games ahead against Winnipeg. Yep. A game ahead against Dallas. Mm -hmm. Two games ahead against St. I Louis. Doubt, but I we doubt. won't catch them, but... Yeah, I doubt The Dallas games in hand thing St. that St. does help okay. going down the long run is all of this. Damn, we forgot to do one thing. No, no, we didn't. Are you sure about that? I'm, I'm sure. Are you sure? I'm, I, I'm, well, I'm not sure. It's up there. <gasps> what is it, Dan? What is it up there? I don't know, Lassie. <laughs> what, is it? what is it? Is it Trouble at the Old Mill? Where's our sponsors? Hockey Locker. Yes, uh, Hockey Locker, 2002 West Hart Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. It's your Milwaukee's one-stop shop for all your hockey needs, figure skating needs. You can get your skates sharpened. How do they start sharpen skates over there, man? They do not use any machines of any kind, if I understand correctly. They uh, do them manually. Really? I believe so. Uh, Milush is very uh, adamant about uh, like these custom ways of sharpening skates. He does it the old-fashioned way. Hmm. Um, Which, um, what else can you get there, guys? My God, you can uh, you can get hockey equipment. You can get inline skate equipment. You can get roller hockey equipment. Oh, my you can God. get your referee gear. You I mean, can get... can't get glasses for the referees, unfortunately, but we'll get into that for our I admiral's view. Wisconsin Vision can take care of that. That's true. <laughs> Not sponsored on by, on by them, but... <laughs> But no, you can pretty much get uh, anything from A to Z hockey related there. You can get your uh, NHL jerseys there. You can get your, uh, what is it, NHL vintage jerseys, Admirals jerseys. You can get jersey customization. Yeah. And you can drop off your skates anytime. Leave anytime. some contact info. They will call you when you're done, pay, and go skate. Your skates are in good care at Hockey Locker. Yes, Milos is really good, and he does them all himself. Mm-hmm. Real pro, like, honestly, if you're thinking, like, Mighty Ducks with, was it with Hans? Yeah, yeah same guy. That's the basic same thing. Milos is a swell dude. Uh, uh, you can reach them at 414-800-7585. Uh, and where can you reach them online, Chris? Uh, you can go to HockeyLockerMilwaukee.com. And that's our sponsor. Yep. Uh, oh, yeah, uh, please subscribe to us on YouTube. Click that bell. We're up to 31 right now. Ding the bell. Ding the bell for us. Let it ring. Because we as Admiral fans, we love to hear bells ring. Oh, yes. Sorry, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sad. All right. Anyways, uh, let's uh, talk about this uh, bad yes. uh, thing. Yeah. It wasn't that bad. They got a point, which is better than what some things have, have happened. They got a point. We I got mean, a point. Face-off percentage was Fairly close, uh, 53% for Preds, 47 for Blackhawks. Uh, shots on goal, 43-38 Nashville. Um, Our power play needs to be addressed. 
unfortunately. There it is needed to be addressed last year, and they still yes, haven't done it. <laughs> but this one, 0 for 5, is unacceptable. This is their typical routine on the power play. The Predators just can't get it done on the power play. I think, it's been an issue for, what, three years now? I think, I think at the end of the year, you will see some firings from, yes. from the assistant coaches. Well, considering that John Hines is also... Like, his job isn't guaranteed. Besides, is he even permanently the replacement, or is he just the stop guy? Three-year deal. Three-year? Okay. Oh. Okay. Three-year deal. Well, then again, you may, like, again, they just need to watch some Admiral's footage on power play. Not really. All right. So, scoring is Matias Ekholm with his eighth with an assist from Gr- the Italian Grim Reaper, Rocco Grimaldi. With uh, his 20th, and Colin Blackwell with his fourth. Hey, he hasn't been scratched. It's nice to see him back. And then we got Patrick. Oops, sorry. Uh, you got ahead of yourself there. I know you want to say it, but. Uh, Alex Jabrinkit with his 15th with an assist from Patrick Kane, his 49th. And Duncan Keith, his 16th. You still can't score a goal, but let's not get into that. <laughs> then we have Alex Jabrinkit with his 16th with an assist from Duncan Keith. Uh, Dan, Dan, remind me again who has uh, more goals than uh, Duncan Keith? I don't know about more, but I know Pecorino has the same amount. Oh, see, okay, yeah. I mean, I, I think. Oh, by good. the way, three starts of the game. Third start of the game was Pecorino. Second start of the game was Corey Crawford. Third, first start of the game was Alex Dubrincic. Well, he had two goals, kind of warranted. Yeah, I, I don't agree with the Corey Crawford one, but that's that's arbitrary. <laughs> Wait, because let's just look at the stats and see if it was warranted. We'll be unbiased here. Okay, that's fair. Right. Um. Um, we'll go with Pecorine with 36 saves and 38 shots with a 9.47 save percentage. Okay. Corey Crawford with 42 saves on 43 shots with a 0.977 save percentage. That's pretty damn good. Yeah. That's a good day for Crawford. Yeah, yeah it's a good Crawford day. Crawford. I'll give him that. I still won't like him. <laughs> yeah, d- just because he, he, he had a good day doesn't mean we have to like him. That's true. Yeah, we... All right, your referees were Jess Lon, Heber, and Chris Lee. Linesmen were Steve Barton and Devin Berg. Head coach for Nashville is John Hines. Head coach for Chicago is former Rockford head coach Jeremy Collington. Hmm. Um, scratches for Nashville were Yannick Weber, Nick Bonino, and Matt Irwin. Um, Bonino is out with a illness. Weber, well, we know why you were scratched. Uh, Irwin, we know why you were scratched. Zach Smith is day to day with a uh, lower body injury for the Blackhawks, so he was scratched. And Eric Gustafson was their extra. All right, so who do we have to look forward to next? Because next is their uh, hockey fights cancer. Right? Uh, that would be the Columbus Blue Jackets. Anybody got those stats? I do not. I do not. Oh, dear. <laughs> uh, hold on. So tomorrow we definitely have to have, uh, what is it, Preds have to don their purple. So we'll uh, be back in Bridgestone. I yeah, guess. tomorrow's going to be a hockey fights cancer. In Nashville. In Nashville, yeah. yep. It's because the Blue Jackets are. We're taking it back to the bridge. Hit him at the bridge. Okay. <laughs> uh-huh. It's better than heading him off at the pass, but you know. <laughs> uh, nice Blazing right. Saddles reference. Yeah. I hate that cliche. It's slowly <laughs> getting to where we need it. All right. Um. We got Goose. What is that? Gustav Nyquist. Uh, he has two assists. Uh, Pierre Luc Dubois. Dubois or whatever. Dubois. Uh, Dubois. He has one assist. Uh, Nick Felino. He has a goal and two assists. These are in our last five, by the way, folks. Yeah. Yes. Boone Jenner has a goal and an assist. Uh, Stefan Mateau. He has a goal. Oh, okay. I'll step on your toe. Uh, <laughs> Kevin Stanland, he has a goal. Other than that, really everybody else kind of blah. Um, their defense don't really worry me any. How's mm-hmm. Seth Jones doing over there? Huh? Seth Jones. Uh, Seth Jones, he is not listed. Injured? Possibly. Because hmm. I, all I know right now with uh, the Blue Jackets is they're kind of in the same Yeah, route. he's not being 
Indianapolis? It's Seth Jones. They're in the same wild card race that we are in, pretty much, for the Eastern Conference, aren't they? So, you got the goalies? Um, oh. If I could get it to flip over. I didn't realize what you were in the middle of doing. I mean, I'm pulling up their injury report. NHL.com is kind of slow. I, I, I can only guess why. Yeah. <laughs> we're also recording and have two other shows to do tonight. This is true. <laughs> what? The wild one over the Oilers. I'll be dang. It's starting to scare me. What's that? The wild? No, that Dean Evanson may be a better NHL coach than a shush, AHL shush, coach. Shush, 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 well, shush. hey, if it happens, it happens, but I still have no faith in the wild. Well, they won't have enough gum to satisfy his contract. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go on. Let me roll. It's okay. coming. It's coming. There we go. Holy Hannah! You. All right. So on their injury list is Brian Dubinsky, Josh Anderson, Ryan Murray, Jonas Corpusalo, Alex Texier. Seth Jones, he's on the IR fractured ankle. Kukin. Dean Kukin, Andy Weinberg, Seth Jones, Clint Cam Atkins, Anders Bjorkstrand. That's a lot of people on the IR. So yeah, and, I, I'm not too or worried Or Oliver Bjorkstrand. Yeah, Bork's, Bjorkstrand being added just yesterday, too. With a day to day with a fractured ankle. Yeah. Hmm. Ow. Ow, ow, ow. That's not fun to skate with. And Seth Jones is on the IR for fractured ankles. So. With uh, Atkinson also with a sprain. Like, boy, the ankle, the ankles are just uh, getting, getting caught. Corpusalo, torn meniscus, he's done for the year. Yeah. Kukin, same thing, torn meniscus, done for the year. Lumbar stress fracture, probably out for the year, maybe. What is that? This. Yeah, they're just injury ridden. Yeah, I'm not too worried about this game, but because it's the Predators and the fact that they can't score on the power play to save their lives, I'm a bit nervous on that. How about you guys? They seem to find a way sometimes. Yep. Yeah. It ain't about what you do on the power play, it's about what you do five on five. Yeah, but uh, it also helps if, you know, you can score when you got the advantage. This season right now is just making sure you don't put it all up to the goalies. Yeah. Like, as much as we, as, like, we can speak, uh, you know, spin yarns about how great uh, Pekka Rene and Jose Saros are, it can't be up to them every single game. Like, nah. it's got to be what our skaters and what our uh, forwards and defensemen are able to put forward to make sure that it doesn't come down to, you know, a save, was it a save game by our goaltending. All right, so let's get into these uh, stats. Okay, so we have Elvis Merzlekens. He has 30 games played, 12 wins, 9 losses, 7 overtime losses, with a 2.3, 5 goals against average with 5 shutouts and a .922 save percentage. He's been playing really good of late. Then we have Matthias Kivlekens. I'm not going to try that one. <laughs> All right, so he has four games played, three games started with one win, zero losses, with two overtime losses, and a .907 save percentage, and a 2.41 goals against average. So, correction, I'm worried about their goalies. Yeah. Bad team, good goalies. That's always the case, though. Yeah. Look at Nashville. Well, it could be just like tonight where, was it tonight with uh, Chicago, where this could be another goalie versus goalie game. Which I don't want it to be that because, again, it's like I said earlier, it shouldn't come, to, like it shouldn't be just the goalies playing the game. But, again, it's, how it's how the puck drops. Yes. Well, we'll that's uh, uh, in, in the words of of a, a movie in Buffalo. That's how the cookie crumbles. Hey, 
He ripped my. <sighs> oh, he was about to say it. It's the only time the bust in was it the the Br Buffalo Sabers can win the the Stanley Cup is when the uh, divine intervention comes into play. Uh, don't say that. Now we're gonna have it happen. Uh, well, we'll we'll sprinkle some salt under over my shoulder when we get off the when we get off the air. All right. So, in that, um, you know, a point is a good thing. Two would have been nice, but I'll take one as a consolation prize. It's better than going home with nothing. And it, it's not that we're trying to look at everything about that to be, like, as enthusiastic or, you know, glass half empty, glass half full kind of thing. We're in the wild card race. And every point does matter. And, you know, just because our host is a moron. Who's a host? I'm the host. And you're a moron? Yes. So we had this on camera? Now yeah, because, you, you, you know, because you know, I, I forget things. Well, we did have a really interesting game today. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there they are. There they are. Because I do forget things. <laughs> You're entitled to the kids. Oh, you. yeah. <laughs> I just now realized we were covering the whole game, and there you go. Well, at least now we have a thumbnail to use. <laughs> yeah, speaking of thumbnails, where can they go to subscribe to us at? Uh, you can go on YouTube and subscribe and click the little bell to get notified whenever we post a video. We're up to 31 subscribers. I'm trying to get it up to 35 by Monday. It's possible. But we just need four more people. And it should be. Gotta start off small with small goals. That's yeah. what we did with the podcast yeah. on Facebook. And it should be noted that this is a uh, this uh, YouTube channel is where uh, the videos drop first. We do not premiere our uh, videos until usually uh, what is it like twelve hours later. Yeah, Try roughly. Uh, we we get them in, because we do all our recording and stuff late. Uploading them at two in the morning can. Not the smartest idea. Well, no, we can upload them at 2 in the morning. It's just releasing them at 2 in the morning is not the best thing for us because, well... Not to make sure to give you guys time to edit stuff and to make yeah. sure everything's just right. That, yep. that and our audience might not be up at that time to get them. Yeah, yeah. we're the only ones crazy enough to be awake this late talking hockey. Which <laughs> we would be doing on a normal basis right. anyway. <laughs> we do it all the time, so we're used to it now. Yep. Um, so we are from Milwaukee to Nashville. We are. Continue to, sub continue to like us on Facebook. Let's try to get up to 1,200. No, actually, let's get 1,100 yes. on Facebook. Yes, that's, that's, that's little baby step milestones never hurt. Exactly. And, you know, but because we're, YouTube would be great. because we're growing so rapidly, we have our sponsor that we got to thank, and that is our, the wonderful folks at Hockey Locker. You yeah. can get a, a nice, wonderful shirt like this one. Yeah. It has a real nice workout shirt, and it actually co fits real nice and comfy under your hockey jerseys. Your hockey sweater. Do you, do you speak from experience? I don't know. I All don't right. know. I wore mine today. Well, then you are speaking from experience. <laughs> yep, and you can go visit them at 2002 West Howard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, or you can call them at... 414-875-85. Or visit their website at... HockeyLockerMilwaukee.com. Or you can go skating where near well, there? Well, Park Ice Center, right Wilson across Park. the street. Yes, because, you know, we have to give you kind of like a visual word. This haven. We have to paint pictures with words. This huge yeah. park where there's a lot of ice, but nobody really talks about it. <laughs> but we have to do it now. We've got to do it. Yeah. Yep. Um, Hockey Locker is one of the premier sponsors for Wilson Park. Mm hmm So, uh... Can't much... really have Hockey Locker without uh, Wilson Park. Yep. Uh, it's, the two go hand in hand. All right. So, we will guys see you guys later with our Admirals video. Florida Everblades fans, don't think it. We did not forget about you this didn't. time. Didn't. We didn't. We'll see you later. Don't worry, Florida. We got you covered.